In this video, we are going to talk about the print settings in the Tutorbox slice settings. Before we get started, please note that for demonstration purposes, we use the default profile in this video, which will display all the settings. But when you are actually using the software, please select the right profile for your printer. This allows you to use the settings your printer truly supports. Layer height refers to the thickness of each layer of a sliced model. If the layers of a model are thinner, that model will have more layers, and it will take longer to print that model. And the model surfaces will be smoother and have higher qualities. If they are thicker, there will be less layers and the print will be faster. But the surface qualities will be lower. It's recommended to set it as 0.05 or 0.1 millimeters. If you want finer surfaces, you can lower it down. The largest layer height can be different depending on the resin and machine you use. Usually, the recommended value is 0.2 mm. If the layers are set too thick, the print is more likely to fail. Bottom layer count refers to the numbers of the bottom layers, the layers that are closest to the platform. To make sure your models can stick well to the platform, we need to give these bottom layers different print settings, such as different exposure time. The bottom layer count is recommended to set equal to or more than 5 layers, so the bottom part is thick enough to stick to the platform. And to avoid the sudden change of the exposure time between the bottom layers and the normal layers, you can set a few transition layers by changing the value of transition layer count. And when printing these transition layers, the exposure time will be reduced layer by layer linearly. It's recommended to set the transition layer count to make sure the exposure time differences between each layers are not very small. There is also a transition type setting. It controls how the exposure time is reduced. For now, there is only the linear option. Exposure time controls how long each layer is exposed to the light source of your printer. For different resins, there may be different ideal exposure time settings, but the default setting in the software covers the majority of the resins. And there is also a bottom exposure time setting. Due to the reasons mentioned before, it should be 8 to 12 times higher than the normal exposure time. Light of delay and bottom light of delay control the time intervals between the exposure of one layer ends and the next layer begins. These delay settings should be long enough, so there will be enough time for the resin to flow back. But if they are set too long, the print may cost much more time. On the right side are the lift and retract settings. They control the movement of your platform during printing. They include bottom lift distance, lift distance, bottom lift speed, lift speed, and retract speed. If the distances are too high, the print speed will be much slower. But if they are too low, it's possible that your model can't detach from the FEP film completely and your print fails. If the speeds are slow, it will take longer to finish the print. But if they are too fast, the forces applied to the film will be too large, so they break the film. If the retract speed is small, it will take longer to print. But if it's too fast, it will lower the accuracy of the platform returning to its position. 